And just like that, here we go again. I hope you guys are doing okay. Today, I'll be making some music that has this underwater, dramatic, dark, filtered out mood to it. You know the type of sound that the Drake's producer, Noah Forty Shabib, is very well known for. So in order to make this type of beat, I'll be using the Native Instruments Contact 7 player and two expansion packs that are actually made by no other than the Drake's producer, Noah Forty Shabib himself. And I had these expansion packs for a while now but I never really had chance to check them out so I'm really excited to do that. I want to check out the sounds, I want to check out the drums, I want to see if the presets will actually give us that underwater dark sound. So all the talking aside, let's just open Ableton Live and let's just hop in right into it, shall we? Let's get it. I just want to let you know before we start guys that I kind of want to keep this video like fun and creative and interacting. I don't want to go too much in depth about everything that I'm doing because there is like million videos about these expansion packs already. For me the general goal of this video is to kind of highlight the packs a bit, go through the sounds, kind of get you inspired, and hopefully we can all have some fun together, okay? That's all I want to do. When it comes to R&B and trap and melodic beats in general, I kind of like to start with the chord progression. That helps me to kind of set the tone or the mood, if you will, and then I kind of like to go from there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use Scalar 2. Again, don't freak out if you don't know what it is. Go check it out for yourself. But just to kind of mention quickly, Scalar 2 is a great tool that will help you to come up with some cool chord progressions and stuff like that so i'm gonna do that real quick and let's see what we can come up with okay Okay, so I played around with some chords and this is the chord progression that I came up with. It would sound like this on its own. Yeah, so I think the mood is there. I feel like we're kind of going the right direction. So now I'm going to load up the instance of Contact 7, you know, just to kind of come up with a beautiful harmonic loop and then just lay some drums over on the top and some bass and maybe a vocal sample here and there. That's the general idea. I don't want to go too crazy. I kind of want to keep a lot of space for imaginary Drake to rap on. So let's see how it's going to sound like, okay? Look at this design, how cool is that? It's so cool that Native Instruments and 40 as well, they kind of paid so much attention to the detail for the design. For me, these type of plugins with these type of designs just make music production so much more fun. It's just so cool. There is no crazy knobs. It's not very technical or something like that. So I checked a few pad sounds and to be honest, most of them sounds pretty good, but I kind of sticked with this holly pad, holly pad, not sure exactly how to pronounce, but yeah, it sounds like this on its own. So now I'm just gonna open another instance of 40's very own keys and I'll see if I can find some keys to actually layer on top of our pad that we already have because I kinda wanna stack a few sounds together uh, and let's see what I can come up with. Okay, so I went through some keys and I found this preset, it's called Champagne Puddle and it sounds like this on its own. And you know these are exactly the same chords that I'm using for the pad. The only thing I did for these chords is that I went an octave up, which is 12 semitones up, and also I used the strum feature. So what it does, it basically moves every single note in the chord a little bit off the grid. Like this, they are not starting exactly in the same place, so it sounds more like you actually played them in naturally, because your fingers, they would never land exactly in the same time on the chord, you know? So let me show you, together the pad with the keys would sound like this. So 
So yeah, I think it sounds pretty good so far. So now what I want to do is again load another instance of 40 very own keys and go search for like a lead sound to play on top of the chords to kind of make the loop a little bit more interesting if you will. I feel like otherwise it's a bit boring. So yeah, I was playing in some keys, I'm not the best one when it comes to the keyboard, but I came up with this melody. And the sound that I'm using for this melody is 40 dreams and 40 nights. Okay, so I think so far so good. What I want to do now is to kind of add a vocal sample with a lot of reverb, kind of spaced out one. So for that, I'm going to use the contact library, which is called Excel. It's from Output. It's the same guys who are making the arcade. So let me check out if I can find some cool vocal samples, okay? Just to tell you guys, I found this bank, it's called Vortex, it's under the slices and I know that we are in key of A minor, so here you can set the key, whatever the key of your song is, you can press OK and it's gonna stay, every sample is gonna stay in key, okay? And I came up with this pattern, it sounds like this on its own. So now all the layers together, we have pad, we have keys, we have lead melody and we have the vocal sample, they would sound together like this. Okay, so at this point I kind of feel like we are done with our melodic loop, it sounds pretty good to me. So now we can lay down some drum sounds, shall we? Oh, and also before I forget, can you double check if you subscribed? I'm sure you did, but just, you know, just to make sure. Okay, so there we have it, this is 40's very own drums expansion, looks so good. Again, the design is really, really cool. And as I told you before though, I don't really want to break down every single thing about this expansion regarding to how it works, you can check it out for yourself, okay? Just to quickly mentioned the idea is that if you trigger a MIDI note on the keyboard it will play a pre-generated drum pattern that is already here inside the expansion pack by the default. I'll show you what I mean. So if I'm gonna play a MIDI note on my keyboard it will automatically play the pre-generated drum pattern. So you see it's basically using the same sounds from the specific kit that we are using but it's just kind of generating different drum patterns every time. So I'm not gonna use none of the pre-generated drum patterns for our song here but I will still use all the sounds that are coming inside the kit. I'm just gonna come up with my own pattern. So let me do that and I will come back to you and I will explain you everything I did, okay? And I'm back and I kind of finished the drum pattern so let me show you how it sounds on its own. And also just to show you in Ableton within the piano roll the drum pattern looks like this so each of these things are like individual sound I have the kicks on the bottom right here and then the snare is this one and then the hi-hat and so forth and so forth okay this is basically how you build your own patterns when you use these expansion packs in contact then you have to kind of go into the piano roll and kind of draw them in Okay, so the last thing to do really is I guess to add the bass line. So let me load up again another instance of 40's very own keys because he had some basses there as well. And I'll see what I can come up with, okay?
I was literally checking the bass sounds for the first time in this expansion pack and they are really really good, maybe one of the best ones I've heard so far, I really like this bass, so I found this one, it's called the Bootsy Bass one, and I came up with a really basic pattern, the bass is pretty much following the root notes of the chords and also like the kick pattern, but on its own it would sound like this. Yeah, nothing too crazy, it gets the job done, but to be honest, I really like the tone and the rumble and like the low end of these basses, they're really really good. And to be honest, that's pretty much it for the beat, I mean obviously we could add many other things, but just for the sake of the video and not to have it like 30 minutes long, I try to keep it simple. And to be honest with you, I really like 40's very own keys, those are really good, the bass sounds are amazing, the key sounds are really nice, overall the presets are really really good. When it comes to 40's very own drums, for the price. I'm not sure to be honest and I feel like if you're just starting out you can just get the keys and then the drums from splice Which is way cheaper, you know I mean sure if you can get one do that because there is a cool drum patterns that you can kind of explore and maybe you're still learning So that's kind of useful and also there is a lot of effect controls and stuff like that But if you are just making beats right now You can get away with splice samples and stuff like that and there you go people That's it the beat is pretty much done all the sounds are there Let me just play it for you like this we can listen to it one more time Thank you. 